Hey everybody. So uh, yesterday we put the neck on this baby and uh, today, sorry about the glare coming in from the window. You see I work right next to the window. Anyway, uh, today we're going to put the strings on this thing. We're going to do the very first setup and uh, we're going to see how it works out. I'm a little concerned about uh, the low E string going in this groove here. It doesn't look doesn't look right to me. But anyway, so I may not be finished. But this is a brand new guitar. We're going to give birth to this thing, and today it's going to have its very first setup. I'm going to put the uh, low E string and the high E string on it, and. See if I can get the relief right on the first fret and on the twelfth fret and work on the saddle. I already uh, worked on the saddle yesterday to get uh, some compensation on it. So um, we're going to see how it works out. So, Britain Guitars. A Britain Guitar. This is a uh, BP-18. Britain Parlor 18 fret. Simple, huh? Yeah. So, here we oh. go. Looking at this saddle, and you know, this saddle, uh, the only thing I did to it was shape the top just to put a radius on it. And I can, and I shaped the sides and rounded the corners or the edges so it would fit in here. And, uh, but I can already tell that it's not high enough. And, so that means that I'm going to have to uh, put something underneath it. So we got the uh, first string and the sixth string on. And uh, it's not real bad up here, but it's not perfect. I think it's okay. I mean, it, I could have... Uh, opened that area up a little bit more whenever I was working on the headstock. I could have made it these a little bit deeper and it would have fit a little bit better. I still got to work on the action on the first fret. It's a little high. Sitting in around, uh, let's see, I'd like it to be like 20 thousandths. And I think we're sitting at uh, about 25. Right at about 25 thousandths, which is really not that bad. Maybe a little higher than that. And uh, on the 12th fret, on the 6th string, we're sitting at about uh, 64 so we're a little low but we haven't actually added anything to the saddle and on the uh, high E string we're right at 364 so I think the uh, if I remember correctly whatever amount you want to raise it here you have to double the amount on the saddle so if I want to go up a sixty-fourth of an inch, then I need to go up two sixty-fours over here. And I think that I want this to be about five sixty-fourths on the twelfth. Because I don't have a lot of brake angle on the saddle. The saddle's just too low. Or maybe um, and you know, based on the setup, um, I need to raise the saddle a little bit to increase the brake angle. But first I probably need to go ahead and since I'm you know sitting under 464 so at the 12th, no brake angle here, a little high on the first fret, I probably need to go ahead and get the first fret at 20 thousandths. That's gonna lower this a touch. 
and then I can go to the saddle and start raising it a little bit. Um, but, okay, so uh, we got the nut action down to about 20 thousandths on the high E and the low E, and then I took the uh, nut off and, you know, um, went ahead and filed all the string slots down just a little bit, very similar. Went ahead and redrew the line on here for the first fret with a half pencil and then looked at where I was on the E string, sixth string, and then looked at this one and actually went in all the slots and filed them down just enough, pretty close to where these two were in relation to the line. So we're sitting at about 20 thousandths on the first fret. And when I remeasure my action on the uh, 12th fret, the E string, the 6th string, you know, this thing is right, it's just a, a hair below 364. So it's pretty low. And then on the, uh, on the E string, on the, on the number 1 string, the high E, we're looking at about Looks like 264. So this one's a hair under 364, and this one's on 264. So that's about what is that? 40 thousandths on the high on the high E, and about 45 thousandths on the low E, and. Uh, So we've got to add some shims to the saddle. Like I said, I want this uh, low E to be about 564. That's kind of where I want to start. So I'm going to add enough shims to bring it up to that level and see if we have any fret buzz at that position at 564. And this one here, I want it to be 464. So. Um, so, I need to raise the low E, like uh, maybe uh, two and a half, sixty-fourths, a little over two sixty-fourths, and I need to raise the high E, you know, two sixty-fourths. So, we're going to make an even number on that. And um, we're going to put one shim under here. So if I need to go up 264, basically 264, then I'm going to have to go up 464 over here, which is about a sixteenth of an inch. So I need about a sixteenth of an inch underneath this. And what's a sixteenth of an inch? Um, that's point about sixty thousandths. It was an eighth of an inch is 125 thousandths, so we need about 60 thousandths of an inch. Let's see what we got. I've got some shims here, and uh, we'll see what they what they mic out at. I've got some uh, purfling here. Now this is actually uh, wood purfling. Or composite wood, whatever they call it. It's not plastic. So I'm thinking about using this as a, a shim. This is 59 thousandths. And I want to go about 60 thousandths or 65 maybe. And so I got a couple of a couple of more pieces of uh, plastic, real tiny little pieces, or real thin. And when I put that all together, I've got, well, that's a little too much. That's like 70. So let's take one of those away. Now that's it. That's 66 thousandths. I think that's where I need to start. And then we'll see um, where we're at. Put 66 thousandths in there and uh, we'll do a measurement of the action at the 12th fret. 
see what the brake angle looks like on the saddle and uh, we'll go from there so here we go okay so we got the 66 thousandths So now the action on the 12th fret, so right at 564, a little over 70 thousandths. And on the first string, we're sitting at uh, 464, right at 70 thousandths. So we're, eh, you know, we're five thousandths above 464s, but, and I see right now I got a couple of, I got a high fret here that I'm going to have to work on. Only on the treble side, there's a little fret number 14 is a little out of whack. So I'm going to have to work on that fret. fretting the 13th fret, the 14th fret is buzzing, but when I go up, it stops. So that tells me the 14th fret is bad.
Okay, well, here she is. It's a brand new guitar. Just uh, finished it today. Did the final setup on it. The relief is a little high. I might go back and adjust that a bit. And I might uh, readjust the action on the saddle to touch. But everything is very close. And so we're going to do the, the birthing of a guitar today. This is a parlor guitar. And surprisingly, uh, it's got quite a bit of volume for an acoustic guitar. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. So here we go. We're going to do a little, uh, a little of my own music here. Don't want to infringe on anybody, have any copyright problems, trying to do somebody else's music. So we're going to do this. Britain. It's the name of the guitar. There she is. guitar and uh, it's got uh, a rosewood top uh, rosewood sorry a redwood top sequoia wood and it's got machichi back and sides and uh, it's got uh, mahogany bracing on the back and on the sides with some cross bracing and on the top it has uh, spruce bracing so it's got pretty good volume to it. Kind of mess it up a little bit. Okay. 
Okay, let's do a little little song, another little song I wrote called uh, After You. Is the name of it. Texas. This is the first Britain guitar. It's a parlor guitar. A BP 18, 18 frets. Real nice uh, abalone inlay. Mother of pearl inlay. Mother of pearl inlay on the fretboard. Real nice rosette. Herringbone inlay. Curly maple binding. Real nice inlay on the back. Nice heel cap made out of the same material. Grover uh, tuners. Well, tell me what you think. So it's a part of the guitar. It's got a unique sound to it. Uh, this is the first time I played it. I'm not quite used to the spacing of the net at the nut you know it's a little bit bigger than my other guitar so it's kind of different playing it but back and sides, mahogany neck. It's going to look very similar in color and tone, because uh, but the rosette will be different. Um, different uh, inlays on the fretboard. 
Of course, the headstock will be the same. Maybe a different inlay here, you know, because it'll be a different, it will not be a, a slotted headstock, so. Anyway, there it is. Thanks for watching.